So a while ago, I was having some terrible wrist problems, probably carpal tunnel or something along those lines. So I switched mice and I tried a vertical mouse, not my jam. I ended up getting this. This is the Logitech MX Ergo and it's a trackball. And I ended up just loving it for day to day stuff. Uh, absolutely comfortable, great position love how it feels everything was great and i've had this for i think just about a year and then all of a sudden the mouse button started failing just like my other logitech mouse which i will put a video to which i fixed by replacing the buttons i'll put a video link up here somewhere anyway so i need to do that with this i already opened it up tried cleaning the buttons didn't help well not true helped for like a half a day. The biggest thing is, is that when you click the button, it just randomly releases. So if you're trying to drag and drop something, it just will drop halfway through wherever you're going to. I'm going to try to replace the mouse switches on here, just like I did with that other mouse. And I'm hoping they're the same ones because I still have a couple of the ones that I used in the other Logitech mouse. So that's today on Tech Guy Life. So the first thing we have to do is open this up and the big magnetic metal plate just easily comes off the bottom, which is super nice. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six Torx screws. They are a Torx six, but they have the little security nubby in the middle of them. So you need this Torx with the little hole. So you need the Torx screwdriver bit with the little hole in the middle. And that's the only way you can get them out without, you know, a lot of pain. Why they put a Torx secure bit on a mouse, I don't know. Now we just have to get it apart. There are just a couple of clips holding the bottom on. I don't remember if I have to take the ball out or not. Better do it anyway. And there we go. All right, so how do we get into this thing? Okay, so it looks like we've got a ribbon here. We can just disconnect. And that will take the top off. And looks like there is one screw. Oh, and of course, now we switch to Phillips. Okay, so there's one Phillips screw. Oh, it's underneath another board. So far, it looks like all of the screws on the inside are the same, so this isn't so bad. Okay, so there's the wheel. There's a little ribbon cable connector right here. We can take that out. That gets that out of the way. And battery. Three screws holding in the battery tray. All right. So let's see if we can get the if this the board will come right out. Let's see one. Two. Three. And it's over there. So close. Something with the wheel. Yeah, so the wheel was just, I had to take a closer look at that, but the wheel was just clicked in into this little area right here. It was just snapped in. And there is a spring on the bottom, so watch that. Don't lose it. Mine didn't even come off, so hopefully that should be the same if someone else tries to do it. And there is a second board underneath, which is connected via this ribbon cable right here. So let's pop that up, take that out, and the board is free. Wow, this was so much easier than the other board. <laughs> now, let's see. Here is the other two spare buttons that I had from the other mouse. And yep, looks like they will be the exact same thing. So now I just got to 
desolder these and get them out. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is add some fresh solder. Oh, of course, I got the wrong tip on here again. Let's fix that. So we're just gonna add some fresh solder on here. Should hopefully make this easier to remove with the desoldering pump. Okay, so that took a good chunk of the solder away. You can see there, it's almost almost all gone. There's just a little bit holding on. The ground is a little bit harder to remove. Uh, so I'm just gonna try some solder wick and some flux and some flux. There's the flux. So got the first one out, holes are nice and clean. The hardest was the ground. I, it's such a tiny board, but yet the ground just would not let go. It was ridiculous. Um, had to, the button kind of fell apart as I was trying to take it out of the board. So uh, yeah, that made it uh, that made it a little bit easier. Let's get the second button out. I've already removed most of the solder, so hopefully it'll just pop off. Not likely, but you know, we can always hope. Again, it's the ground that is just not giving up. There we go. That one came out a little bit cleaner. So, holes are all clean, ready for new buttons. Let's hope these work. I'm going to put some solder on my iron, take the button. Put it in, and then tack one of these pins down. Make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, that looks good. Clean that off with a little isopropyl alcohol. This will either be a vast improvement or a complete disaster. One or the other. I guess it's time to put it back together. This was so much faster than my other mouse. All right, now where does this go? It goes like this. There we go. like that. This is going pretty good, I think. I probably just cursed myself. Missed about uh, a screw up here. And then this is the last one. Okay. I think that's it. Wow. Hey, mouse buttons are clicking. This might have worked. I guess we'll just put it back together and then try it.
give the ball a little bit of a clean. And give the mouse a bit of a clean. Now I will go test this because I don't have it hooked up. This is in my, my main office computer, uh, which I don't have any cameras near. So I'm gonna go give this a try and I will report back and let you know how it went. Uh, that worked really well. I don't know if it's just how worn out the old buttons were, but these feel really great. They might also have been an upgrade button, I don't know. I don't know if these buttons were an upgrade compared to the old ones. They looked the same. They were the ones that I took out were an Omron. Uh, that's the same that were in that other mouse that I fixed. Again, I'll put a link somewhere. But these feel like an upgrade. And it could just be that the other mouse buttons were so worn out for so long that these ones just feel amazing from the beginning. Uh, but they feel great. This mouse feels brand new again. And I'm super thrilled. One thing I am not thrilled about, though, is the fact that Logitech mice buttons are crap. They are falling apart too soon. I have mice from, like, the late 90s that still work. PS2 corded mice that are fine. Still work, still click, no problem. But yet these mice that are supposed to be high-end, really great mice and the mouse buttons are dying, and they're super... Diff like, that is not a fix that most people can do. Yeah, you can get into it, but removing those mouse buttons was a pain in the butt. And then trying to get the replacement buttons and get them soldered on there is not something that most people could do. So this mouse, which is a very high-end priced mouse, would have been, by most people, just chucked. And they would have had to go get a new one. So I got the age of the mouse slightly wrong. I bought this mouse in April of 2023, and it is currently August of 2025. So I had it for two years, two years and a bit. Uh, April, May, June, July, August, four months, five, four months. Yeah, two years, four months. And to have the mouse buttons completely fail after two years and probably actually just two years because it had been sitting on the sidelines for a while before I decided to actually fix it is ridiculous. Two years and the mouse buttons fail in like a $200 mouse. But I'm lucky that I have the ability to fix it because most people won't. Logitech, I think, used to make good products, but I can't recommend them anymore. If you need a trackball mouse or any kind of mouse, Logitech, no, not the way to go anymore. Try something else. Buy as cheap as you can. These people are just making disposable stuff anyway, so you might as well save yourself a few bucks and not buy the good stuff. But that's just my opinion. But that's it for this week. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and that is amazing, truly amazing. And I hope to one day be saying I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers or a hundred thousand, not likely, but yeah, it would be great. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.